Hello YouTube RJ. I got a uh, comment from Rick and he was questioning the blue thing I had attached to my flux. And so instead of just texting back to him or commenting back to him, I thought I'd do a quick little video to talk about uh, fluxes a little bit. This little blue thing he was talking about is called a Relife RL-062C. It's a dispenser. It's a ratcheting dispenser. It lets me dis to put out just a little bit of flux or, or a lot of flux, whatever I want, by simply pushing this. It gives me a lot of leverage, makes it easy to push it out through the thin needle. And it has a ratcheting mechanism here that each time I get to the point I've used the whole trigger, when I release it, ratchets back. So it's continual. You don't have to do anything, screw anything in or mess with this. Um, it's nice. It works well. It's very inexpensive, as I'm going to show you in a minute. This is what I've been using for years. Mechanics um, UV80 flux paste. You know, it's kind of a crystalline stuff. I usually use one of my little plastic foam Q-tip things. And I get a little out and I put it where I want it. But it's hard to control how much or where you get it to stay. Um, it, it works okay. It's a little messy. It's sticky. It gets everywhere, as you can see. And... Uh, so, you know, I was uh, seeing people using uh, and, and, and raving about Amtec solder flux. And so, you know, it's usually the NC50 or 559. And so I thought I'd give it a try. And, of course, I needed a good way to dispense it controlled. So I picked this little jewel up with it. And I'm going to pop it on the screen and let you see it from AliExpress. And then I'll put links for both of them in there. Uh, they're not affiliated links. I don't make anything off of anything at this point. If you're interested, that's what it is. So the story is I used this for years. About four or five months ago, I decided to give some Amtec a try. It's a little bit of the gel. You decided to pick this up to dis dispense it. It's been a great combo. Like it a lot. Like it a lot more than this. Very much more controlled, neater. Don't make as much mess. Control where it goes a lot better. I don't get it all over my hands. Uh, definitely think this is a lot better way of going. This little thing here, while we're talking about fluxes and stuff, this is a MG Chemical um, tip tenner. And I've used this for years and years and years. Highly recommend it. You see how much I've used mine. Basically what it does, instead of you sitting there wasting your solder, tinning and cleaning and tinning and cleaning, basically you just stick your tip in here every so often and rotate it. And it puts a little bit of solder on it, but it has a little bit of an acid in there. It cleans the garbage off your tip and stuff, tends it, puts it in, in a good shape. Uh, highly recommend it. You know, you see me using it in the videos all the time, unless I'm, you know, where I'm cutting stuff out to save time, you're missing it. But I know you've seen me use this a time or two, probably, if you watch my videos. So anyway, that's my recommendations. Hopefully that answers your question, Rick. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to pop up screen images of these items. And if you look in the comments uh, of the video, you're going to see the links to them if you're interested in picking any of these up. So, hey, have a great day. Hope this little tech tip helped you out. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot.